guys, hello. It is Michelle with Unicorn Spit. I'm here along with my friend Pam and Carla, and today we're super excited to show you um, rainbow blending. And I just happen to have our rainbow blending specialist, Carla, here in Kansas City with me, and she um, is going to show you how she does her rainbow blending. It is absolutely beautiful. You can see lots of her work in the Unicorn Spit Q&A group on um, Facebook. Um, it's called Unicorn Spit Official Q&A. Swing over there. That's where you'll find all of our specialists. Carla doesn't have a business page. She does this out of her heart and her hobby. So we're going to, right? You don't have a business page yet. You're working on it. So you're working on it. You're going to get it. You're going to get it. And when you do, we're going to throw it everywhere. We should just call you the rainbow blender. <laughs> That's perfect. All right, guys. Well, she's going to show you how she does her fancy work using um, rainbow blending using our primary colors. So we have Molly Red Pepper, Lemon Kiss, and Blue Thunder. Now I'm going to let her take the show over. I hope you enjoy. So let's get started. Go ahead. Tell them everybody. Hello, I'm Carla. Hi, I'm Carla. Where do you I, live? I live, it's about, it's 75 miles from Michelle. So, actually I'm pretty lucky. Because I'm close, a lot closer than a lot of people. Mm -hmm. But, um, I live in Higginsville, Missouri. But what I like to do with rain, it's, I was telling Michelle, I said it doesn't seem to matter what I paint, it always ends up a rainbow. So, that's just, it seems to be my favorite, because I like all the colors. I have a hard time. I can't pick my favorite. But when I do it, I just, this is, what kind of wood is this? This is um, bleach wood, plywood, that um, I got it at the hardware store. Okay. And I just usually would, whatever I have. Yeah, <laughs> I do too. I do too. And it, But I, I chose this wood because I noticed it didn't have a lot of knots on it and things, and it was pretty... Um, so, you know what I mean? It was a nice pattern. I thought it was a nice pattern at least. I guess it could have been prettier. <laughs> but it's just plywood. Well, I always miss, usually, not always, I usually miss the wood because to open it, so it just takes the stain better. So we just have water here. This is water, right? Yep, that's water. Mm -hmm. All right. So the first thing you do, instead of using wood conditioner, mm -hmm. It's okay if there's a little pink in it. We we have colors I, all over. I think the I have purple on your hands. You want to wash your thing. hands real quick? And I'll mist it for you. Go ahead. But run to the bathroom. You should make it. I think you can wiggle in there. So um, Unicorn Spit doesn't have any plastics in it. So you don't have to use a traditional wood conditioner in order to have a very even um, application or avoid brush strokes with when wood staining. Um, all you have to do is mist the wood you're gonna just mist it not real strong not so much that it makes it soppy or whatever you just want to mist it down and get it damp what that does it opens the pore of the wood and allows the pigments in the unicorn spit to actually absorb into it which i absolutely love i want that wood grain to really pop when we do our um, top coat to give it that real ripply three-dimensional effect that you see like on maple and such um, and you're able to achieve that using unicorn spit and water of course you use the top coat that's appropriate for what you're doing all right it's okay that there's a little pink we're going rainbow we're going rainbow so we'll be okay with that so I am gonna use one of your nifty new brushes oh yes those are some you always want to use a synthetic oh, brush I find with unicorn spit um, I really like these so a synthetic bristle um, um, we can't, um, I don't know, a synthetic bristle works best for me as opposed to a natural bristle because the pigments fall off of it rather than absorb into it. So we're trying out some new brushes here that we really like. Okay. That's why I like to visit Michelle because she always has the good stuff. Yeah, that's fun. Okay. Um, I don't know if there is a proper colorway, but I, blue is usually my favorite, so I usually start with blue and... I start in the middle and work my way out. That's just the way I do it. That way I know how much I have. And why do you hold your finger over the tip? Oh, 
Why do I hold my finger over the tip? It's a habit because a lot of times <laughs> I, I, leave, you. <laughs> I leave the top unscrewed and I decorate my walls exactly. and my floor and my face. <laughs> I think we've all done that. So, and I've also learned that a lot of times when I open it, I use a paper towel because sometimes there's a bubble and it pops out. Everywhere. Not always, sometimes. And I don't want to waste it either. So it just takes such a really little bit. Um, sometimes I squirt it right on my board. Sometimes I use the palette. Uh, I'm trying to decide. Let me see. I think I'm going to use the palette because it stains so strong in the wood and has steel that then I'll just have the drop stain. That's true. Here, you can put it up here. Okay. I'm not going to miss it. So you only need a little bit. Right? Yeah, just a couple drops. Oh. All right. You already got it wet. Uh oh. So I just get a little bit on my brush. Yeah. And kind of pat it off. Just until I know, especially if it's a new, different piece of wood, until I know how it's going to take. You know, it's so hard to answer the question. Do you need more water? Maybe. All right. It's so hard to answer the question, how much do you use for wood? Because even right. if it's the same kind of wood, every piece takes things differently. Mm -hmm. And it takes the color differently. Got a little bit much there. So I guess I would just start right in the middle. And see, I got a lot of water, so it's already, it's like moving on its own. I would just start right there. You like to do bands radiating out like you did your bench. That was yeah. beautiful. And it just, I'm really working because I had this, you know, OCD perfectionism thing. I'm really working on, it does what it's going to do, you know? And usually it looks better than what I had in my head anyway. But you just kind of have to let it go. Yeah, you just got to kind of fill the colors and just go with it. And that's why it is fun. I'm going to just go ahead and get all my colors on there so I can have them ready. <laughs> now every time I do that, I'll think of <laughs> I should have done that. And usually I try to be very careful to close it again. But sometimes that doesn't happen. Do you think, girlfriend? Yellow is really strong, too, so it doesn't take a little while. Mm -hmm. Do you want a separate brush for it? Yeah, that's probably good. Here, try on. <laughs> it does make her dancing. <laughs> Sorry, I missed it. Yeah. Which one do you want to use? you got a whole array of one. If I'm using the palette and I'm using the primaries, I like to skip one or two slots so I can go in between and blend them together if I need to. Which ones do you want? I mean, you got a plethora of pinatas to use there. A plethora. Plethora. Huh. You got your favorite brush you want to use? Oh, yeah. I hear ya. <laughs> I'm pretty particular about my brushes, too. Are you? Well, it's, it's, be a good it's just you have, for everybody. you have your favorites, and usually my favorites, they're at home because they're dirty, because I don't usually wash my brushes. That's a good tip, though, with unicorn spit. What's that? That you don't have to wash your brushes? No, I always have, like, a designated blue brush, a designated yeah. yellow brush, because I hardly ever wash them out, because yeah. you just rehydrate and use what's left over in the brush. Or if I'm in the middle of a project, and I've kind of, like, mixed the color on my brush, mm -hmm. I just leave it until I'm done with that project. That's true. And if I have a big brush that I do need to wash out, I sometimes save the water from uh, rinsing at your brush and use it as, as a really thin stain. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. I was kind of waiting for this blue to finish. Oh, the water to probably evaporate a little bit to too. To so finish you doing where, what I was doing. Now, I want to notice, because this is like a yellow wood. It'll get hints of green. It's got a are, touch of green to it. It works great for rainbow, right? Because yeah, yellow and blue will make green. So whenever you put spit down on a piece of wood, if it's a yellowish wood, 
you're gonna get hints of green. If it's a red wood, you're gonna get hints of purple. That's always important to remember that the colors do vary. Yeah, and some people, you know, trying to, less, I guess what I was talking about with the different woods, they're upset, they're like, you know, I can't, my wood doesn't look like your wood. Well, you have like a red wood, right. and I had a yellow wood, so it's gonna be completely different. Now when I go to add like another color, I, I want to leave a gap because I want red, but I also, when you get blue and red together, what color do I, I want a color in the middle? A purple will come maybe. Right. But I notice if I just do right here with it'll red, be too, then it it'll might just be purple. But I know I want some of the red to come through. Oh, this looks patriotic now. It does. That. It's a good time of year for that. Definitely. The red, white, and blue um, woodworker signs that I see are absolutely beautiful. I love them. Oh, this red. See, I just... <laughs> Sometimes I get distracted, just it goes on so smooth. The color just goes on so good that I'm like, oh, that's so pretty. Right? You just want to keep working it <laughs> and working that, it. It's mm -hmm. so soothing. Now you're just using a, a, a makeup brush on this one, huh? Yeah, from the dollar store. I like it. Because if I mess it up, which I don't ever because you just wash this right out, but if I would mess it up, I could, I just don't feel so guilty. Right. Like I say, like the good brush is for like good stuff. Right. <laughs> yeah. But sometimes I think blending too, if you have an older, rattier brush, you kind of. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And you have, or if you're doing like on a rough piece, mm -hmm. you know, where you don't want to mess up your new smooth, pretty brushes. I think that was just the way the song ended. Oh, okay. That was pretty and <laughs> weird, right? <laughs> I'm like, okay. Royalty free music, guys. I found a station on Talk Shopify so we can have some music going. Or stop a Spotify. Spotify. Very excited about it. Alright, so I'm gonna put just go ahead and put some yellow. I just kinda do this just it does I'm not worried about exact proportions, but I kinda wanna make sure I get all my colors in. So take your brush slow and go down with the yellow and stop halfway well, for me. I don't have enough yellow. I think I was trying to spread it too thin. Oh almost. You gotta open the cap, girlfriend. I know. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> We're just gonna open all the caps for you. It's oh. not like it's gonna dry out and burn it. Yeah, but then I shake it. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'll throw it all on you. Yeah, that's true too. You remember a couple of weeks ago, I had I redid my wood floor with uh, green metallic. That was very pretty. <laughs> and then I, found, I keep finding it, like it was on my wall, and I found some on my headboard. Pause. Oh, you have to pause halfway through down. I'm gonna make a take a picture of your brush okay. halfway down. Ready? Right there. Stop. Beautiful photo. Okay. Now is the fun part. We're gonna have to bring some red over here for sure. Right. To cover up that pink. All right, back to the blue brush. And go back over here to the blue. Now you're not diluting first. You're kind of just. Well, I had a lot go. of water on my board and I wet these brushes. Okay. I spritzed them with water. I don't think I showed that because I didn't want to make a mess. But I just, if it gets too dry, I just kind of do that. See what this will do here. You could do it with your red one too, I guess. Whoa, I didn't need some blendy blendy. Maybe you, it was too strong. Yeah. You think so? You're just gonna make yeah. that red a band of purple? Or just start? Just start pulling it You got together. this. Do your thing. I need, I should have said on the other side, right? Because I'm No, you're candid. beautiful. <laughs> it's nice looking. Oh, that's a nice dark purple. Mm -hmm. and I don't know if it's showing up like that. But you missed it with a little water, maybe. And it yeah. <laughs> it's a good sprayer. Yeah, it's a mister. Is that for do you hair miss, dressing? If you, yeah, if you hold it and it misses it. <clears throat> but you can also spritz it. Mm -hmm. Oh, is it one of those you can do? Mm -hmm. 
got my cat terrified because I spritz them all the time. I don't even have to do it. I just hold up the bottle and they run, so that's cool. Because they like to walk across, I mean, unicorn spit must smell really good. They don't eat it or lick it, but they, 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 like to, they like to hang out with it. All right. Now that's like a dark plum. I think I want a little more red in there. Yeah. What do you think? She's... She's double fisting over here. I know. I kind of end up that way. Pretty soon it'll just be my hands. Right? <laughs> you know, I start off all particular and then... Wood is soaking it up. Oh, maybe you should mist it? Well, it just. Or you want the colors to be real bright. Deep. Yeah, I like. You could do pastel. I've done that before. Usually, when I'm really cleaning a brush, like you talked about, then I end up with the pastel. Yeah. Right. Oh, let me get you a paper towel. Let Sam get you a paper towel. Yeah, because it's kind of nice that you can wipe back. You can also um, use a brush, a dry brush, to blend. Mm -hmm. Maybe like this thick one. If you want to try that, I don't know. Maybe it'll work. Well, you are a specialist. Why do I keep instructing? I'm so sorry. No. Forgive me. I like feedback. Just because I'm not, you know, never get nervous. Oh, I don't know if you can see the purple. I can see it. I just and it's turning burgundy. It's mm -hmm. really beautiful. Well, whatever you're doing, it's nice. All right, so with my blue, I got... You want to bring some... I, I don't know what you're going to do. Keep going. I, oh. I'm sitting here wanting to guess. Um, Tracy, the misters, I got some for Michelle at Sally's. But I think you can also get them now... On Amazon. On Amazon, mm -hmm. uh, maybe Walmart. Uh, there's all kinds of places. Just... Actually, Michael's in Hobby Lobby. You squirt it one time. Too. Far away. There we go. And it does like an Everlast. I see. All right. See? I was doing. It's pretty neat. Because okay. you're a very fine mist. All right, look at I don't want to squirt you. Oh, I don't mind being. It's kind of <laughs> <All right>. so. <laughs> <laughs> when it was alcohol ink day, that was bad, but. She said thank you for letting her know. You're welcome. I like having a paper towel to brush off. Like, I got too much blue in my red brush, so I like to. Kind of wash that off. All right, what do you think? Let's see. Bring in some green. Oh yeah, look at that. Look oh, how effortlessly that, that was. That was so effort. There was no effort in that at all. I love that green. I do too. It's like a neon green. Uh, it is. Oh. You want me to get you a little cup of water to clean your brush out in? If you like, I'm not used to all this service. Listen, with my new dream box, everything is right at my fingertips. You know where it's at. I absolutely love this thing. Everything's just right there. Don't mind the kids in the background. They're just playing with the dog. <laughs> It's not like a, a dog fight. They, yeah. they, they really are playing. And Cheryl said to squirt her. Who does she want to squirt? Oh, squirt Michelle. Oh, Michelle. Oh, Why don't I get one of the pink buckets that you can like wash on one side and um. Yeah, that we got as a strategy. Yes. You might want to just put that on the floor. I know it's going to go down. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. Dropping everything. It's just not bad. Oh, she wants you to shoot, squirt Michelle. I know. That, well, I was afraid I was going to squirt oh. her, and she told me to. And I think I've squirted you in the face a couple times. Probably. I'm just like, oh, well. You're freezing? I am freezing. That blue is strong. <laughs> I'm trying to. 
There we go. How's that? That way you can dip, squeeze, dip, squeeze, rinse. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of steps. <laughs> hey, listen, if you want a brand new fresh brush, that's what you gotta do. And especially when it comes to the blending. That's when you need a fresh brush. Um, yeah, some of the colors you want to go together, and then some, mm -hmm. like, I really don't want blue in my orange. Yes. Because I'm going to try to make some orange now. Not, I'm going to have to, I like the plum, but I want more of a purpley. Oh, I think it's going to, I think it's going to be, don't fight it. And take the purple to a new area, maybe. And let that plum be where it wants to be. Maybe. It's yeah. Yeah. Cheryl finally got her permits yesterday to work on her house. Oh, yeah. Good, job. Good, job. Good job, Cheryl. What a project. Paper towel. Another one? She well, is I've been a paper towel mess. woman. I brought my own, so nobody can say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I always bring my bag of stuff. Don't worry, Michelle. Your bag of goodies. She oh, does. Mary Poppins. <laughs> it's wood dries out fast, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Because of the lights. Or... Alright. Cheryl, let me just wear it again. Uh huh. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Cheryl. All right. Where are you gonna go next? I think. I'm... All right, guys. We're gonna take a second here. Sorry, if we're having connection issues. guys we got the internet back on thank you for hanging out with us for that moment while our internet goes kind of crazy um, we've got a couple of folks working from home and so I think it's just drowning it out so here we go guys we're getting back together here Carla waited to get back on before she moved over to the orange for you guys so here we go so what she's doing she is taking the can you oh maybe just turn it so that they aren't blocked by your hand. Okay. Here you go. Right, and right hand. You got this. You got this. So we're gonna move this a little bit closer for you guys. All right. Here we go. So now she's taking the red and going over the yellow, and she's gonna be creating a beautiful orange. I got a lot of red here. Hang on. Yeah. I really like that. Little take off some of the water. Sometimes when I start, I get too much on my brush, just right at the beginning. Yeah, I always start off with a precise brush, end up paper, start, then go to paper towels, and end up with my fingers. I right. <laughs> I know you guys have to mind we have all the kids home and with kids and dogs comes playing so mind the kids playing in the background I'd be upset oh. if they weren't you know <laughs> but it is playing that's the mm -hmm. thing, so. what about husbands playing <laughs> that's a good job too that's what they do all the time <laughs> your device is connected Oh, now that orange is coming out. Uh, it looks like sunset. Oh, it's beautiful. That's pretty. It's it's hard really to stop. Pretty. You know, it's like you want to get it mixed just where it's mixed and before it's too mixed. Right. <laughs> you know, and it's it's hard to explain that to somebody. Mm -hmm. But the fun part is just playing with it until it happens. I had a really hard time wanting it to be like everybody else's when I started. It, yeah, a lot of people do that and they're like, oh, but I want it to be just like this. But you know what? Everybody's wood is a little bit different. I have a hard so, time doing the 
same project twice in a row because it just but that's what makes it so neat and unique there's no two projects that are going to be mm -hmm. exactly alike. Right. giving guys a nice little close up there oh yeah i like the orange orange is so pretty i don't know why i don't use orange more i really don't because i would like it it's beautiful Orange is such a life color. And it also reminds me of health for some reason. Maybe it's the vitamin C. I don't know, but that's what I think of. I think of like health and wellness. Vitality. Vitality. Oh yeah, you're really blending that orange now. It's looking beautiful. It is. That's why she's our purple <laughs> specialist, or a rainbow specialist here. <laughs> So now what, in my head, what I would do is then put in some more green and fill up that gap and then... Oh, just, or just a band of blue in the middle and then gradually maybe? Well, just kind of, well, I would do more yellow and then do more greens, the green and the blue. Okay, go for it. I, I can't explain. Just I show, have a trouble, show, trouble using Don't words. worry about explaining it. You know, YouTube's for visual learners. So, you know, um, it's okay. That's so pretty. I, look, I like this brush. So it's, they're working really good for blending. Anybody can have you switch sides of the table with me. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea, wouldn't it? All right. Either come, that or I need to learn to be bathroom. a lefty. Come get the bathroom. <laughs> I am not a lefty. I know. <laughs> it's like musical chairs. <laughs> okay. All right. I have to switch my brain, right? I need like 42 brushes. This is I love because I always need that. I know, right? <laughs> I like that green. I, like that green. I really like that green too. I think it was a great choice. Somebody, is that somebody, some yours? Oh, is it? So you guys can see, um, unicorn spits very, very concentrated. So this is yeah, just a tiny. Really, bit you used. just need to, and you can use really any brush. You just want synthetic fibers. I I find work the best. Mm -hmm. And um, if you use too much. You can always wipe back off, as you saw. You can also pre-dilute if you wanted to. But sometimes I just like to go with the filling, which I think most people do. They just fill it and it, it makes the decision for them. So it's nice to start with a little palette of colors. I also find that starting with three colors is the way to go. And I like how you start with three colors, but look how many colors she's made. Oh, yeah. We've got burgundy. We've got purple. We have plum. Red. We have, a like, a teal. We have orange. orange, red. Kind of like a peachy orange. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, I like to make the different shades. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Yeah, if sometimes I mix it on the palette, sometimes I mix it on the project. It just depends. That's why I if like to need, go every other right one. And if you need more and it's dried up, you just wet your palette and it's rehydrated again. Yeah, I was working on finishing off a bench yesterday that I hadn't worked on in a month, and I just had left my palette, so I just missed it, with water. it yeah. you know, and I left it sit for a little bit and stirred it right back up. So a little more blue to make that. Make like a using that big brush to blend it. Yeah, I'm making like a yellow, a greenish Radiant. yellow. But I'm kind of like you said. A lot of times I'll just have a blue brush mm -hmm. laying around or a red brush. I I don't wash my brushes hardly ever because usually it's just it. I'll just rinse it as I get it wet as I go, mm -hmm. and it changes colors. Okay. All right. I think I need a little more red, and then I think then we can just go on out with our rainbow. What do you yeah. Think? 
All right. And we're also celebrating Pride Month, so this is a great kickoff color for this game, for sure. That's what I had to just tell Pam, because it's... These lights dry out the wood faster. It won't dry out as fast at home, I don't think. I can tell then that it's getting dry where it's skipping a little bit there. I had to do right over here because I got paint all over the wood, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it usually covers it up really good though. Which is good that it stops right there because you can always rehydrate it mm -hmm. whenever you move to the next color. Right, you can just and it'll blend, it'll, it won't just be a stamp. It's just so forgiving, you know? Like if you use regular paint, it's just, it would be there, and then when you would go to start again, it would, there would be a bump, mm -hmm. because it would overlap. Yeah, Where so now it would just, bits always like perfectly self-level. relaxing day. I really needed a nice relaxing day. Me too. This is more fun than pulling weeds in the garden. Like <laughs> right? Day for four hours. I, I like the pins. I love the pins, but it, it's hot. Oh my goodness. I mean, what would you do here? Just use a wet brush with nothing in it to blend those? Or would you use the lighter color to blend those? That's where I always get confused. Well, usually I see how wide my stripes are. Like, and you do the fine the, tuning at the end? Yeah, okay. so it's like, if I want more it more yellow to make it more, and I don't want it exact, Yeah. but proportion. Right, right. Then, uh, you know, then it depends on what color. Like if I'd want more orange, then I'd add a little bit more red. Gotcha. If I want more yellow, then yellow. Oh, you gotta go, that's fine. Rub it with your fingers. Cause then I just smooth it in and I meant to do that, see? Right, it was, it was supposed to be that way. I'm sorry, I distracted you. <laughs> Sometimes. Now, oh, um, somebody just asked, how do you comment on the live YouTube? What you do, you click the comment section and whenever you get to the comment section, you will see the live feed and the live comments and you guys are welcome to comment there. You can also comment after we're live, it will post, and I'll be able to come back and answer questions. I guess I flipped my blue over here, you see that? Yep. Huh. Hey, you know what? It's okay. I don't mind. And don't forget, we'll have a stencil on top, too, so. Oh, yeah, we are. We're going to stencil. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> a checkerboard. a little bit wider red so I can go back with. And if you do it really watered down, it'll be like a pink. Yeah. Because it takes about 40 parts water and then it, it'll turn into a pink. I can just, I dip my brush in water and then it just. That's like a uh, hundred parts water. <laughs> but I like that. But... I do too. You just use your hand to blend it out. You know, I love finger painting. <laughs> it never gets old. And then Pam's always handing me for mm -hmm. I'm ready for the next one. <laughs> okay, so what colors should I see? Let's see, what are people commenting? Should we add more blue? Yeah, I think we need more blue. Maybe go blue that way. Okay. It just what I like about Unicorn Spit too is it's like I might be in the mood for this one day and not finish and then tomorrow my mood will be something else. Absolutely. You can always just pick right back up where you left off with a little bit of water. Usually when I use the most is when I first start. The most yeah. bit is just to get it on your brush. Once you have it in your brush, you don't really need a lot more. Oh, I can't move it. I better be... You better get it nice and wet first. There you go. Cause 
Oh, look at that. Just reactivated that whole area here where it was like a dark line. <laughs> it just immediately went bloop, it's smooth gradient. Yeah. yeah. It is so that? pretty. I just like to watch it sometimes. I think so too. Mm -hmm. It's like a watercolor. It does it itself. Mm-hmm. Almost like alcoholic. I don't even need to be here. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> My brush was pretty wet too. Is there any internet right now? No internet? Well, I'm I'm not on their Wi-Fi right now. So mm. is there are having issues. I think. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I need to check mine. Maybe wash your brush out or come back with the red one. No, I need just a. Uh, my toe. Your toes are cold. You want some socks? <laughs> You want my slippers? I have some unicorn slippers. Ooh. I'll go get you my slippers. All right, if anything cool happens, take a picture. I should have wore jeans or something today. Yeah. Who knew? I always wear jeans. I shave my legs twice a year, whether I need it or not. <laughs> What'd she say? I don't know. I wasn't listening. What'd she say? <laughs> oh, look at my little dab. It's really pretty. It's very pretty. <laughs> so just a little more blending. Yeah, I just rinsed out a brush, you know, not perfect, but right? just enough so it wouldn't, just to kind of get, I want some more purple in there. How you doing? Tight quarters here. Oh, there's your purple. You brought some purple into it. Yep. I love purple. We're in purple today. Okay, you have your choice of two pairs of unicorn slippers. <laughs> I'm gonna take these. They look They're warm. They're super fluffy. <laughs> they look warm. My feet were kind of cold too. Carla keeps her shoes on. My sandals on. Well, yeah. All right, you got an excuse. I just like to be barefoot. <laughs> well, I love how that purple went in. I do too. I do too. So Almost, yeah. Yeah. It's like starting. You never know where it's going to go. Just look at the paper towel itself. That's, it's beautiful. Pam took a picture of it. Because the, I <laughs> no, said, I didn't. I just looked at it. Oh, but I said, look at the, the. I have a hard time throwing stuff away sometimes at home because I have, but I have all these things that just look so pretty. I just want to fill in a little bit of this where the yellow wood's showing through. Mm -hmm. Blue is always good to finish. With. Oops. I've had some yellow on my hand. Whoopsie. Here's the towel. Pam keeps me supplied. It's my job. I feel like I should smooth out that blue a little bit in the middle. Is it hard to know when to say when? Oh, I have a terrible time with that. But when I feel it starting to look like muddy together, mm -hmm. I make myself stop, at least let it dry. Yeah. And see what it looks like, you know? Yeah. But it, I, 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 Never know when I'm done. I just that's why sometimes I take a picture and ask a friend. Am mm -hmm. I done? <laughs> that's why I like the Q and A too, because everybody's really good about you know when you look at something for so long, kind of like having a proofreader. Yes. You, you don't walk see away from stuff, it. you know. Mm hmm It's like a proofreader for spit. I'm using I'm using a tiny bit of spit, but I feel like I'm using a lot more than usual because 
I keep wiping it off to, to blend it so I don't uh -huh. mix the wrong colors together. But usually I wouldn't. But it's still such a little bit. Yeah, a little bit goes a long way. It's so, especially since it's so concentrated. That yeah. And the original can be a stain or paint. Well, all of it can, but mm -hmm. it can be. Oh, let me get a picture of you misting it with water. Ready? Okay. Um, bring it over white. Right there. All right. There you go. Thank you. So I think I might end with blue on either end. What do you think? Yeah, that'd be pretty. Okay. I like the how that blue looks over there. Blue's a good border. So for that I'll do the yellow. YouTube's been a learning process for me too. I just, it's it's different than. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and I have a new phone, and it's making all these noises, and I don't realize you don't it's my phone. It? I'm like, what? What is that? the bathroom so you don't have to jump over cords please oh you're gonna stay in there have fun. Um, hang out. <laughs> I didn't know you were in there a while ago he wasn't well was Johnny he just came out of there though oh yeah but he went in a minute ago remember yeah okay <laughs> It's all rainbows and sunshine. Yes. Always. So, you could use these on like on the back of a sign. We're doing, what are we doing today? We're doing checkerboards. But you could do these and put a sign over the front, couldn't you? Mm, yeah. All right, I'm gonna make a little orange there. this would look neat too not um is if you just used two of the primary colors mm -hmm. like you could just use the red and yellow and then you could get like four or five different shades of orange and peach and are you freezing Pam uh, I'm a little warmer now that my feet are warm Just dress fast. Do you want your sweats? <laughs> Some sweatpants? No, I'm good. Do you want a hoodie? Because <laughs> no. you know what would happen? In like two minutes, I'd be hot. <laughs> then I'd have to take it off. And then I'd be cold. And yeah. It's just the way I roll these days. So, a lot of times I put my ends on too. So then I know how much room I have left to blend. You know, or else uh -huh. then I like I blend too much, and then oh, I'm like, whoops, I'm out of room. Did you find the comments? Mm -hmm. uh, Red Dirt uh, Soap Company says that needed turquoise, but we were working with just these three colors. Yeah, I was just doing the well, primary. We did another one with turquoise with the uh, Zia in it. See, and that's I think why I end up with rainbow a lot because. I can't pick a color. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, that's such a beautiful bolt of blue. It's like cobalt. It is. It's like electric blue. It's the color of the year. Is it? Bring it up here a little more. Yeah, I want it to be really dark up here. I want it. But look how the wood takes it differently. You well, know. I think it's because this one was very diluted. 
Remember how much water you used over here? You had to sop it off. But the, it just, the, the, the wood came through more over here. Oh, well, yeah, because it's, it's stronger over here. Okay. But it'll also absorb down in there. Right, where it dries. Where this one's absorbed for a long time, so it's showing more of the wood grain. Where this one's fresh put on, it's still on the top and it's working you its way down. You just can't be the blue. You just can't be blue. I love the blue. All right, how are you gonna blend in between? I, with yellow? Oh, yes. oh, it's got orange in it. I know. Okay. I'm trying to decide if I'm done with the orange before I wash it out. I don't know. Because it was still really wet. Logo. Oh, I see. And I wanted to pull it over some more, make it go together. See, it, it, like you were talking about, like here, it's it's the darker red, but then when it was more diluted, then it's like fades to pink almost. But I love it. Like a magenta. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. Bit, a tiny bit of water. Tiny, tiny bit. Because I have a harsh little thing there. Let me get it really cool close up here. All right. So now I want to do green. I want green here. The last stripe. Oh, wow. Look at this picture I got, you guys. Ooh. Wow. That's beautiful. It looks like it's a... Like neon light, almost. Oh my gosh, really it's beautiful, pretty. right? Ah. <sighs> yeah. I just you need to come take a picture of my bench angle and then made sure that all, only color was in it. I don't don't have it on. Turn my phone off. Oh jeez. <laughs> there. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Almost reminds you of like a Mexican saddle blanket. So did you? Uh, yes, it does. Did, you didn't use any like special effects or anything on that? No, you just that's a, a just good angle. no filter or anything. That's how vibrant spit is. And, and the cameras never really do it full justice. No. The sparkle, the shine, the glimmer, it just never. I know yeah. everybody, you know, says One, that, but the thing is, People can imagine your project because yeah, everybody sparkling. has the same issue. Yeah, sparkling is hard to photograph. One thing I can't stand is when people um, take a picture and show their final project and they use so many filters, it's not really what it looks like. Right. That's something that drives me bonkers. Okay, so I want to make a little green here for okay. the final stripe. So... I think blue. I would just take that blue and start working yeah. it in. Just what's on there instead of reloading. Just soften the edge a little bit. Mm -hmm. so a little the, bit of yellow though. All right. I just just I just feel it. Don't spit down on the blue over there. <laughs> okay, go for it. See, I'll usually start back from where I want to end up because it flows. Oh, I gotcha. Especially if it's really wet. Like, like instead of going from the blue over, you go from the yellow over to the blue. Yeah. Right, because the blue is. So, so strong. strong. Yes. I know. And that. then it's, it's like, <laughs> especially when it's on your walls and your floor. Your and, legs, your clothes, your arms. Um, but like if I want the yellow here, I start it here. Okay. Like if I get it really wet, because then you would just grab a little bit of that. That would just be a little bit of the blue. Yeah. Because blue is so pungent. Yeah. We don't sell water. We don't sell water. Mm -hmm. That's right. Unicorn spit's diluted with a lot. You can dilute unicorn spit with a lot of water. We don't sell water. Use your own. <laughs> and I like that because it's more economical. It's but also, super economical. You can do so many things with it. Like I said, when I wash my brush, I take that water. And do a watercolor painting. Yeah, or, it, or stain. Because mm -hmm. it's like, especially with the blue. Well, it kind of kills our sales, though, because one bottle lasts so long yeah. that you hardly ever have to. The only reason most people rebuy is because they want another color. Yeah. So. All right, look at that. I got like a turquoise. Ooh, ooh it's, it's like a teal. I like that. Me too. I'm going to take a picture again. Another picture. No, do your brush. Fancy. Get 
it out with that. And you can tell when it starts drying, it gets that chalky appearance. And then it'll go bling back alive. I don't like I love it. straight of a line. You might just there. use a wet brush or are you gonna oh you're gonna sop off with a Yeah, I just didn't want that that's that too hard. Mm. Yeah, see that's when I'm like in a in the gun. Right? <laughs> Well, this is just this fun. Wonderful. It feels so fun. I and don't stop. forget, like I said, we're going to have a over the top of it. Okay. So, so I think that's I like it. perfect. Uh -huh. I wouldn't change anything. And I know that we had some errors right here, mm -hmm. but it's not, there's so much going on, you only notice it if you go ring and your face is right into it. The only thing I would do would be to add a little more hair. What? I don't know. Just I yellow? Just, Maybe a little more yellow because I it's... love like this color right here. That yellow and red together. Oh, the yellow? Yeah. I don't know. Take a wipe of yellow. That's your first heart thought. Grab your yellow brush. Take out all that green. I just washed my yellow brush. You? What are you doing? Are you doing orange juices? Orange justice? No. What is that? See, you don't talk about stuff. I don't have Orange kids at home is anymore. Orange Justice a dance move that they do on a game. One of the um, yellow's my girlfriend. One of the dances that one of the characters do in a game. It's so funny. <laughs> and they all look like Deadpool in the game. It's it, it just cracks me. So up. When you don't have oh, you're hitting wires. And they don't have kids at home anymore. You know, it's like a whole new you're out of the loop. Yeah, I'm like thing. Like what? It was different stuff. Uh -huh. Yeah, you know. When I was little, we used to watch Camp Latawana on Nickelodeon. Remember Camp Latawana? We hold you in our hearts. No, we had four, five, and nine. We had three channels, yeah. and we were the remote. Right? <laughs> Your daddy holler at you to go change the channel. Josh likes to lay in bed and play on his phone and snuggle the dogs. And he does, because that's what I do. When I want to relax, yeah. I'm like, leave me alone. I go to my room. I get in the bed with the, with the dogs. And I watch Naked and Afraid. <laughs> I love it. I love that show. I've never show. watched that. My husband oh watches my that all the time. I'm like, I, I guess you got to see some somewhere. I like that. I think I want to be on that show. I, that would be my worst nightmare. I Me totally too, Carl. I mean, it is, I cannot think of anything I would hate more. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be naked in my house. <laughs> and I don't want to sleep outside. I don't like sleeping outside. Well, you know, if I was on that show... This, this is a good one for me to ask the audience. If you were to be on the show Naked and Afraid, you know how you're allowed to choose one item to bring with you. Some people have chosen duct tape. Some people have chosen, like, you know, um, cordage. Some people have chosen um, a, a pot. I personally would choose a mosquito net. Because you can use the net not only to protect yourself from the bugs at night when you sleep, but you can also use it to trap fish. Yeah. Or birds if you need to throw it up in the air and try to catch a bird. You know, stuff like that. That's that's my thought. All right, one more. Okay. This is it. This is All right, it. That's, this it. Is it. Huh? Not, that's it. I mean, this this when I when I'm done with this blend, I'm done. All right. I've decided. I kind of like that strong bolt of red. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you might need to wet your brush. It's really dry over I here. No. Just get it damp, damp, damp it, damp, damp, damp. There you go. Just tap, tap it in. Tap it. Sometimes the edges can be tricky. All right. What do you think? I had a put a finger right. Gosh got... dang it! I messed it up. There we go. No, you didn't. Gosh dang it! I did it again. But I got it. Finish it. There we go. Thank you. See, Do it again. I messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> My OCD messed me up. You are, I think it's fine. Keep going. Keep going. There. That's the brush stroke. That's it. Oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, this was Unicorn Spinning with regular Unicorn Spit. Again, the colors that we used are Blue Thunder, Molly Red Pepper, 
and <laughs> lemon kiss with water in order to make this array of colors that you see here. The primary trio are wonderful for doing rainbow blending and um, tune back with us. We're going to be doing some other blending here in just a little while and it will be presented by the one and only Pam oh from Atchison, Kansas Yay! with glitter and rust. So, tune back in, guys. We're probably going to go get a drink and maybe get a little snack, and we will be back. Thank you for tuning in for today's episode of Let's Blend, and we look forward to seeing you again. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. Goodbye.